Hello everyone, this is Hello Iedereen12345 and um, uh, this is my second tutorial of C Sharp and this tutorial will be a lot different. This will be a beginner's tutorial for a console application basically because I've had classmates who had problems with uh, console application C Sharp and I really want to help you guys if you had similar if you have similar problems with that um, really had a little problem with the word similar there uh, so basically just created a new console application call it console application tutorial and what we're going to do is we're going to calculate how much uh, rolls of wallpaper you need to uh, decorate your wall actually so basically first you are going to need to declare a few um, a few things and that will be an, uh, a few integers first the integers of the uh, wall width and an integer of the wall height and you're going to need an integer of the um, let me just think uh, wall width I believe that that is it. Oh yeah, and the wall length. And you're gonna need a few inches with the, with the width of the wall. And we're gonna need an integer with the length. basically first you declare these integers and I always use decimal to calculate you don't need to do that but I always do the decimal and I will call that calculate there you go. basically you declare an integer if you have a number uh, that needs to be saved so first we're gonna start by making it user friendly not just a you don't you need to know what to type before you can actually use it so what we're going to do is we're going to say console that is actually the main window that you have opened and it will say write if you say write it will write something but it will not go to the next line if you say write line it will jump to the next line so we're just going to do write because it looks uh, better that way so what we're going to do is we're going to type in Please enter the length of your wall. There. Note that I'm putting in a space between here. It's just to make it look nicer. You don't have to do that. And, and then you have to say that the length of the wall so the wall what the hell oops declared it in the wrong section there needs to be declared here sorry about that uh, so you let's say I want to make the length of the wall the integer the integral uh, wall length needs to equal um, convert first you need to because what comes out of it is a is a string and you cannot save a string in an integer so it will make an error about that so first you have to convert the read line so read line he reads in what the user put in and what the user put in will be converted to an integer 32 and it will be saved in wall length so then you might want to know what the width of the wall is so basically you put in please enter the width of your wall oops there you go and then wall width basically the same story 
convert that to in 32 1289 same story here you ask them to put in the uh, width of the wall and then you want to fill and then basically this reads what the user put in and it will be converted to an integer 32 and the integer wall width will be filled with the information the user put in and basically you do that for everything Wall height we equal convert to integer 32, and then you're gonna say the console. You and with console we mean the uh, thing the user opened, and then it needs to read the line that the user put in. Yeah. Now you're also gonna do the same thing for the for the role because you're gonna have to need the information about uh, the role of wallpaper so please enter the width of the roll and again same story Alright, now the last, finally, convert to enter the two. Oh wait, oops, I kind of forgot to give the user the order to input it. Please enter. My bad. Uh, and then you do an angle roll equals convert that to thirty-two. There. Now that you've done that, we have basically filled in everything we need to know. So actually, we don't need the user anymore. He doesn't have to put anything in. Now we're going to go to the calculation. Now, basically, what you need to know is the formula of what you want to calculate. So, basically, calculate equals. Oh, wait, basically, I forgot something. Why do I say basically? It's actually. I forgot to declare a few other decimals uh, between. There you go. Uh, first, we're gonna calculate the um, the uh, the wall, and that is a little bit uh, different than what you might think. It's uh, actually the width of the wall times the height of the wall. And we put that piece in brackets. I believe it was plus wall length times wall height. I believe it was something like this. There you go. That is the wall. Then we put in between one. Then we're going to put in the width of the roll times the length of the roll. Seems easy enough. And then finally you just add everything together, which will be calculate at between one. 
basically what I did here is I uh, applied the formula of the wall and I put that the answer of the wall formula will be put into the decimal calculate. Now the between one holds the information about the roll basically and then in the last decimal we just add the two up and now comes the answer which we're going to do like so console dot right line this time we're going to use line the answer is and then you do a and then you do this basically the zero will say the first uh, the first thing after the comma so the answer is zero okay the answer is this all right and then all I have to do is put a comma in there and then you already see object argument zero it means this zero actually what do you want to put in place of that zero now what we're gonna say is we're gonna say final needs to enter that place but we want to do that to string otherwise you're gonna get a big decimal number and you don't want that because decimals are actually calculate so specifically that everything behind the comma will also be shown and that is way too much it's, uh, we're not going to put it in and then all we're going to say is the console should be console dot writes enter any key to close And then all you have to do is say console that dot read key. So because console applications run in a way of uh, when it's done reading the code, it closes immediately. So if they press a key, read key will be used, and it will close. Basically, you just put this below, and you will be able to see what happens so let's test okay so the length of my wall is 2 and the width of my wall is also 2 and the height of my wall is 3 now the width, width of the roll will be 3 and this will be 2 18 rolls. It's a little bit too much, I believe. I believe I'm making an error here. It's probably something to do with the formula, but y you guys get the idea. Now that collecting the information, applying the formula. Yeah. Oh wait, I made a problem. Uh, I made an uh, error there. It's not plus between one, it's divided by between one. My bad. Now let's see what pops out. Two. We're going to need two rolls to fill up my wall. Alright. And then enter any key to close. Actually, it should be press any key to close. So I hope you uh, learned from this tutorial. And uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And... Uh, Leave any suggestions for new tutorials. This is Hello Iedereen12345 signing off.